Hello, this is Byron Bennett, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up Microsoft Visual Studio 2015 installer projects so that you can create an MSI to distribute your applications, your Visual Studio applications. So the first thing you need to do, if you've not already done this, is to install an application for, that will add some additional project types to your Visual Studio. And we're going to go to Bing and search for... Uh, Visual Studio 2015 and we're looking for installer project right there and when you do that you should get a result uh, that comes up with this go ahead and click on that and it's going to take you to the Visual Studio gallery on MSDN this is a free download from Microsoft so go ahead and download that and install it I've already done that so I don't need to do it now but uh, make sure you've closed Visual Studio after you download this. Install it like you would any other application. And when it's done, I'm going to go ahead and close out Chrome here. It's going to add a new project type to your Visual Studio. So go ahead and open up your project. And I'm going to go to File, Add, New Project. And it's going to let me choose a type here. And you may need to close up some things so you can get down to other project types and what you want is Visual Studio Installer and come over here and select Setup Wizard and I'm going to remove the one from that and I'm going to add a new folder to my uh, project folder and I'm just going to call it Setup Wizard click OK <clears throat> and it's going to take you through the wizard Okay, let's go ahead and click Next. And I am doing a Windows Form application that I'm going to set up the MSI for. So go ahead and select Create a Setup for Windows application. Next. And what you're going to want here is to select the primary output from your project. My project is called Postman. I'm going to select that. Next. If you wanted to add any additional files, readmes or HTML, you could do that here next and finally finish and notice up here in the top right in our solution explorer we now have a new project called setup okay we're almost ready but there's a few things that we want to address before we uh, before we build our, our MSI so go ahead and click on setup you over here you should have a file system set up automatically displayed click on the application folder and here you can see our primary output. This is what's going to be installed in the application folder. Notice that these are dependencies from uh, from my system that were, or from my project that are included. Okay, I am going to click on setup again, right click, go to view. If you wanted to add some registry changes, you could do that. I'll go ahead and click on the registry. You see you get the registry here. If you, When your MSI runs, it will do any re registry changes you add there. I don't have any. If you wanted to add any files, you could do that there. Oh, I'm sorry. File types, you could associate your project with file type. User interface. <clears throat> This user interface is the process that the user is going to see when they run the MSI. So I am going to get rid of the installation folder. Right click on that and delete because I don't want them to have to choose the installation folder. Okay. And let's see here. Was there anything else in here I wanted to change? View. Custom actions. If you had custom actions, you could do that. I'm going to change the launch condition. .NET Framework. My application is running the 4.5.2 framework, and I'm going to make that the minimum version that the user can have on their app on their system. So what's going to happen here is the system is going to check and see if the uh, user has 4.5.2.NET framework installed on their PC. If not, it's going to go to the, to the install URL and install that for them. Okay. Go ahead and click on Setup. 
and we're going to make some changes into the properties of the setup. And you're going to want to add a add remove program icon. So once the user's got your uh, application set up or installed and they want to uh, remove it, they can click on start control panel program files. That's the icon that's going to show up in the program files. So I'm going to click on browse and I want it to use the icon from my application. So I'm going to click browse application folder and I don't have the icon just set up in my application folder. I could have added that there. But what I'm going to do is come down and select the executable. Click OK. And here you'll notice the primary output. That's going to be my executable. I'm going to click on that. And it looked into the executable and found the icon that uh, is set up for that. So I'm going to click OK. That's the, uh, the icon that we'll use. The author, I'm going to go ahead and change it to my name. <clears throat> uh, you can give it a description. And it's, this one is uh, counting. But, okay. Install for all users. And I'm going to say true here because when the user runs this install, I want it to install it for all users of that PC. And let's come on down to the manufacturer. When the user uh, installs it and it go, puts the application in program files, the manufacturer is the name that you're going to have. Uh, so it'll be program files slash manufacturer name slash your project. So I'm going to make this uh, central accounting. And, and you can actually get rid of the manufacturer and I'll show you how to do that in, in the uh, program files. Okay, the other pieces here we want to change. I'm going to change my product name and I'm going to call it Postman and the title Postman. Okay. version that should equal the version that's on your application. Mine is currently on 1.0.0, so I'm going to leave that alone. Okay, last thing, we were going to look at the installation area, and I'm going to go back to file system, and uh, okay, click on application folder. And down here in the properties window, you can see it says program files folder, manufacturer product name. I'm going to go ahead and remove the slash manufacturer. And that will allow it to be program files slash your product or your, uh, your project. All right, that's all that we need to do to build it. Make sure you've got a good build here um, using the release build, any CPU. I'm going to right click and build, and it didn't build because it's already up to date. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to build my setup program. So let's go ahead and do build. And everything went well. We should have a MSI file build for us. Packaging up all of the pieces, and we got we have a successful build. So I'm going to go to my folder, project folder, and you'll see here's our setup wizard, setup, and under release, there's our MSI. So that's what you would distribute to your users. They run the MSI, and it will install your application. All right. That's how you can set up an MSI nice and easy for your application and distribute it to your users. Hope this has been helpful. I look for more videos in the future. Thanks.